So vocal fatigue is the sensation of being tired in the throat, the neck muscles around the larynx, or even within the larynx or the voice box, if you will. And it ends up resulting in an inability to have endurance. You gotta commit, you gotta commit the way you committed all year. And or a change of quality in the voice. And then we're gonna Washington DC to take back the White House. Ah! Sometimes a lack of control in your sound. If things aren't working properly, you're risking your ability to have a successful career if this is an ongoing issue for you. I don't think she'll sing again. It's an absolute tragedy. Yeah, it is a tragedy. I felt like it was a great opportunity for us to extend our technology beyond these sort of very important but maybe narrow targeted uses in, in healthcare to something that would capture maybe, maybe a broader you know, population of potential users uh, in the future. So you've got the device in place, which is great. I want you to just do a little up and down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Instead of using a microphone, because very few people want to have all of their conversations recorded 24-7, what we integrate into our device is a very highly sensitive motion sensor that can measure speaking and singing, but in a way that doesn't yield interpretable speech or interpretable singing. I think there are so many different applications for this. Attorneys, public speakers, teachers are another big demographic. Keep the pulse. They're giving all day and they're interacting with their students and they're lecturing, etc. Uh, and they lose track of themselves. We can only keep so many balls in the air. It's nice every once in a while to have something tracking for us. Yeah.